Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to create a profile for your Razer device. I want also to show you how to create a color scheme for this device. And most importantly, I'm gonna show you how to assign a keyboard shortcut key so to switch between the profiles you created and at the same time associate a color scheme with the profile when you switch to it. So let's switch to screen recording and show you all this. So this is Razer Synapse with the Chroma Studio module running here on my Windows 11 PC and I have a Razer DeskTalker V2 Pro TKL keyboard. So this is the keyboard that I'm gonna use in this example. But the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to all the Razer devices that are managed with Razer Synapse. So click on the device that you wanna configure and this is here my Razer DeskTalker V2 TKL keyboard. So it will take you to this screen. In this screen, I'm gonna show you how to create two profiles. So to create a new profile, click on the three dots here and then click on add. And what happens is that Razer Synapse will duplicate directly the default profile that you have. So we need to rename it. Click on the three dots and then click on rename. And here, let's name it, for instance, work one. So this is the first profile and then click anywhere empty. So now the profile is created with the default settings. And here on this screen, what you can do is to customize the keys on your keyboard. So let me show you, for instance, how to customize this key here because I don't use it. So click on it. When you click on it, this menu will open and here you can get all these functions and commands that you can assign to this key. So for instance here, I'm gonna assign the Control S key combination for this key here so that to save my document very quickly. So to do this, click on the keyboard function. So now I'm gonna switch the camera to the keyboard so that you see how I am doing this. So here in the green box, press the combination of keys that you wanted assigned to this button. So for me, it is Control S. So on your keyboard, press Control S and then click on save. And then let's close this. So this is the only customization that I wanna do in the work one profile. So now I'm gonna create another profile, which is gaming profile. So it will be gaming one. So click on the three dots here and then click on add. And once again, click on the three dots and then rename. And let's name it gaming one. And then click anywhere outside. And when this profile is active, I want the gaming mode to be active. So here I'm gonna select it always on. And then I'm gonna click on disable alt tab and disable alt F4. And these are all the settings that I wanna change for this profile, the gaming profile. So now what I want to do is to create two color profiles and then I'm gonna show you how to assign each color profile to switch with this profile here. So I'm gonna choose work one once again and then I'm gonna go to lighting here. And then under lighting, I'm gonna click on Chroma Studio. So here you need to create a new color scheme. So click on the three dots here and then click on add. So it will add a default color scheme. We need to rename it. So let's rename it. And I advise you to rename it the same as the keyboard profile that we created. You don't have to do this, but it's easier to manage like this. So we are gonna name it work one. And for the work one profile, I wanna choose all the keys and I'm gonna choose a static coloring for the keys. So this is how you select the keys. And here, click on the three dots next to the effect layer and then choose static and choose the color you want. So here I want it to be colored blue. So this is the blue that I want and I'm gonna click on save. And now I'm gonna create another color scheme and also I'm gonna name it gaming one. So let's click on the three dots here and then click on add and click on rename once again here and let's name it gaming one. And for gaming one, I want it also to be static. So I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna choose static here once again and I want it to be white. So I'm gonna choose the white color here and I'm gonna change the WASD keys to be red. So I'm gonna select W, then Control A, S, D. So this is how you select the keys. And then I'm gonna select red here. So now they are red. And then let's click on save. So now our work in Chroma Studio is finished. Let's click on the back arrow here to adjust the power of the lighting. 
So here in this screen, I want to adjust the intensity of the light of the newly created profiles. And notice that the brightness is associated with the profile and it's not associated with the color scheme. So whatever you select here, it doesn't affect like the brightness of the selection. So here, let's select the first profile we created, which is work one. And then let's put it at 40%. And let's select the gaming one profile. And let's put it at 60%. Now I want to show you how to assign a keyboard shortcut key. So to switch between the gaming one and the work one profiles, and also attach a color scheme to each profile. So here to do this, click on Synapse and then click on Global Shortcuts. So here click on Add Shortcut and then here you have Switch Device Profile. So keep it selected and then on the right you can either go to the next profile, previous profile or cycle between the profiles up and down or choose a specific profile. So I want here to choose a specific profile and the first shortcut I'm going to create is for the Work1 profile. So here I'm going to select the Work1 profile and notice this box here, switch lighting when profile is switched. So you need to select it and then here go to the work one lighting scheme and then click on save. And now you need to assign a shortcut key for this profile. So click in this box here and I want to assign the Ctrl Shift W keyboard shortcut for this profile. So Ctrl Shift W. And here before saving this shortcut key, I want to show you something that I discovered. So I'm going to put the keyboard a little bit aside and then bring my mouse here. So notice that I use my mouse with my left hand. And of course, in Windows, I switch the keys here. So if you click the right key here, which is like usually the left key, it will not take this shortcut. So you need to click the left key so that the shortcut is saved. I'm going to show you if I click the key to save the shortcut, it's going to put here right click. So see, it put right click. And this is not what I want. So I'm going to put once again the Control Shift W. And then I'm going to click with this button here of the mouse. So to save the shortcut. So now it saved the shortcut. And this is a bug that Razer should address in my opinion. So let's click now to add a shortcut for the Gaming One profile. I'm going to do it fast. So add shortcut, specific profile, Gaming One, switch lighting and then gaming one lighting save and here i'm gonna assign the Control shift e for this profile so i'm gonna click here and then Control shift e and then click here and the profile is saved now so let's close synapse now it will keep running in the background because without synapse running this will not work and i'm gonna open notepad to show you the effect of the profile so now i'm gonna switch the profile to the gaming profile so Control shift e and notice how the profile switched and how the keyboard colors also changed. So now the window key is not operational anymore. And this is what we disabled. And even Alt F4 is not operational anymore. And now what we're gonna do is to switch to the work profile. So Control Shift W. And notice the colors of the keyboard also became blue. And now this keyboard key here should be the Control S. So let's type anything here and then press this one here. And you notice it prompts us to save the file. If you want to check out the Razer Desktalker V2 Pro TKL keyboard, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech.